You're the Inquisitor. Mother never told me the Inquisitor was an elf. The ears gave me away, didn't they? No, your blood is very old. I saw it right away. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on her hand, Mother? I did see. Tis time to return to your studies, little man. Hmm. <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy, but seldom troublesome. Will his father be joining us as well? I have raised Kieran on my own for quite some time now, as was my preference from the start. So, tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place, and you will scarce notice our presence. There's something rather... unusual about him. There is. He is a special lad. It falls to me to protect him from anything and anyone that mean him ill. Most of all, he must be protected from myself. No one could harm him more than I. To think, until recently, this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. I like this place. I've made it mine. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. I appreciate whatever help you can give us. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask, what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed, tis that he actually may. I understand you have spared the Grey Wardens from destroying what goodwill was left them. Tis good of you, considering the weakness Corypheus exploited was their own doing. Still, should a true Archdemon one day arise, they will no doubt be needed. Or so they would have us believe. One thing which makes me curious, did you encounter the hero of Ferelden at Adamant Fortress? Was the hero of Ferelden a friend of yours? We traveled together during the time she fought the Blight. I helped her, and she helped me. Indeed, without her, my son would never have been born. Regardless, did you see her? I met no one by that title. When the Champion of Kirkwall mentioned a Grey Warden ally, I assumed it would be she. It was, after all, just the sort of thing in which she would involve herself. But that rather begs the question, if the hero of Ferelden was not at Adamant, where is she? My suggestion? Track her down. She could be a great aid against Corypheus, or a terrible foe to the Inquisition. Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? Tis remarkable. 
what you have built. I will give you that. Leniana has built a network of spies beyond anything Thedas has seen. All this in precious little time conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. I wonder if Corypheus suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. I have no idea what will happen once all this is over. Do you not? No doubt there will be countless men and women with suggestions. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, many will be eager to knock you back down. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking her way into the Inquisition's ranks? Once I was an apostate living well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kakari Wilds. Then came the Fifth Blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. It is certain the nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. You were in Ferelden during the Blight? The Blight began in the Kakari Wilds, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. She is the reason the Blight was defeated. I wish things had gone differently in the end. It had to be, yet. And after that, I came to Orlais. The last place one would look for me, or such was my hope. The Orlesian court seems like an odd place to find someone like you. That was the point, originally. I knew the Empress was intrigued by the Arcane, and that I could answer questions no Chantry Mage could. Thus, we fit together nicely. I became her advisor, and she my benefactor and source of refuge. The moment Selene perished, my time in court was done. I do not miss it over much. It's odd that an apostate could live so... openly. <laughs> it confuses those who expect apostates to cower and hide. I stand boldly before them and demand to know why I need some Chantry mage to teach me to control my power. They would put me on a leash so they can feel safer at night. I am uninterested in their comfort. Naturally, it helps to have friends in high places. I'll leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. <laughs>